the initial introduction of two dogs doesn't necessarily always foretell the future. Blythe is about a two-year-old retriever mix. Prior dog to dogs have been unsuccessful in large-scale prairie groups. She is active with other dogs, has high ball drive, and somewhat barrier reactive. We tried something new today. We did a little bit of pre-work. We spent five minutes on ball fetch. We kept the dog we were going to introduce, Gumbo, in the far yard, and waited about eight to ten minutes to move an intro to Gumbo. We let the edge come off of Lythe, and we had a pretty good introduction, uh, except for maybe the first ten seconds. We distracted Blythe probably a little bit too long. Gumbo came in and surprised her a bit, but we know from prior experience with Blythe that this would have been her normal reaction whether we surprised her a bit anyway with Gumbo. We picked Gumbo because he is a very thick-skinned dog and will get along with almost any dog that we put in with him. He's able to take reprimands from other dogs and uses his own body language and bat past experience with dogs to problem solve and usually defuse the situation. This is at one-tenth speed because I want to show you the subtle interactions that Blythe and Gumbo have during this interaction even though it looks like Blythe is really going after Gumbo she's, she's not connecting with her teeth uh, to me this is kind of an emotional outburst but this is kind of her initial intro pattern the tough part about helping Blythe become a better dog is finding more dogs like Gumbo he's a good dog for this because he'll not react, he won't uh, add to the situation so to speak, but he will continue to try to problem solve with Blythe. Uh, our goal is to find more dogs like this with Blythe, have her create additional uh, relationships because again, their little relationship here is starting off a little bit rough, but right now I can already tell you that she's not overly tight. He's a little bit more tense than she is, but you can tell that her back legs are off kilter and her body weight is slightly shifted back. Now the nice thing that will help us with Blythe is you just have a little bit of a startle command, or a startle response. Uh, you'll see this in a few seconds when Gumbo inadvertently hits the chair and I really think that the noise and startle from the chair uh, kind of uh, breaks the mood for Blythe and kind of takes her out of that mode of uh, pushing Gumbo around and again what he's doing is more of an emotional and uh, defensive response to introducing and meeting a dog. I think most of this is brought on by the shelter and it isn't necessarily who he would be outside the shelter but again she's a high drive dog a lot of pump drive, and here's where Gumbo hits the chair, and this is really the turning point in the dog-to-dog -dog introduction. I think she was done messing around with Gumbo a little bit, but the chair really kind of broke it down. Here's it. Here's the introduction at full speed. At full speed, it actually looks a little bit more critical, but again, we know Gumbo, and we also knew by watching this that there was no intent on Blythe. But again, a dog like Blythe, if he introduces to the wrong dog like this, uh, and not a great dog like Gumbo, the fight will escalate and she'll get hurt. This is literally 20 seconds to a minute inside their introduction. You can see that Gumbo has relaxed, and even Blythe is relaxed. Mouth open, ears back, how light she is on her feet and again she's she's got enough of some high drive dog in her that makes her play noisy barky and a little bit in your face matching her up with other dogs will be the key to giving her a successful uh, behavior modification at the shelter and also a great home this is about five minutes later in, into the introduction you can tell both dogs have changed levels and they really did this for about 15 to 20 minutes. They'd run, they'd hang out. Uh, for the most part, they 
mouth each other's ears. That's me leaning down next to them. Uh, again, this is the first time at the shelter for about a month or so that Blythe has been with other dogs. We tried unsuccessfully, and she really enjoys the company of other dogs. Now we just have to find her a few more friends other than just the gumbo. So the lessons learned from this. If you have a dog in a shelter environment or even in your own environment, if you continue to introduce the dog the same way and get the same reaction, especially in a dog to dog, change it up. We cleared out the play yards, we worked her a little bit, and we made a friend.